good morning, folks. We're awaiting Earth impact from a large solar eruption. Today, we're also going to be hitting news from the galactic level to a typhoon alert and down to a volcano, but we're getting started over at spaceweathernews.com. Looking at the last 24 hours on our star, sunspots departing on the south, coronal hole incoming on the north, and a tilde-shaped thin plasma filament enters center disk just north of the equator. No more eruptive activity, and the X-ray emissions are now back down to where they were before the flare event. We are seeing increased solar wind density this morning, but the fun there is just beginning. Here's the full story. So while a coronal hole comes in on the north, we're watching others depart, having already thrown their solar wind our way. Their faster streams are expected to impact Earth tonight or tomorrow, but they're not the only ones. Before the sunspots heading out on the south do so, they cross the disk silently for days, before building up to a long-duration M-class solar flare seemingly out of nowhere that blasted an enormous full halo CME into space. NASA's Enlil spiral tracking the blast confirms what we told you yesterday. The CME is coming at Earth. Sun in the center, Earth is on the right at the yellow dot, black and white dotted magnetic portal connections of the objects back to the Sun. They do expect impact tomorrow around dinner in the U.S., and NOAA is predicting about the same. Neither makes too large a distinction between coronal hole impact and CME. If they hit in succession, that's what we don't want to see. But for the meantime, all is quiet in terms of ground magnetic perturbations, and all is quiet in Earth's magnetic field. We're showing you this now for perspective on quiet conditions, and when we move over to the combined pressure graphic, we will see that this morning's increased density in the solar wind is creating a bit of orange, but it's as mild a stream as this appears to show. You might remember the ionospheric absorption that shows the flare energy triggering ionization and radio blackout sticks under the sun, but since the CME erupted near the magnetic portal connection of Earth, it surges high energy protons and the radiation storm is still ongoing this morning. While solar flares at lower range still paint purple under the sunlit side of Earth, the polar radiation storm shows up north and south and is persisting as long as the storm does. So we are awaiting coronal hole impact and a CME, all while in a radiation storm already. We'll have our eyes on it all weekend and hopefully you've got all your app alerts turned on. Up next, it's the Eye of Sauron. In all seriousness, we've got an interesting galaxy simulation and it's showing the ability to recreate galactic structures using shock waves and turbulence as the primary driver of stellar formation limitation that allows the arms and heterogeneous density across the mass. Down to the ground now, these footprints have stood the test of time, molded into lasting volcanic ash from the mountain in the background more than 5,000 years ago. Well, now they say a similar event may be in the making. Not the footprint thing, the volcano thing. The mountain of God, as it's known locally, has been showing every sign that it is ready to blow once more. Normal peak activity can transition to a major eruption at a moment's notice, and that is what they are worried about. Anyone want to move to sinkhole country? This is Tampa, Florida, just east of my favorite beaches in the country. Unfortunately, this state is as known for its lakes and ground instability as it is for the sunshine. The 200-foot opening is already filled with water and mud, indicating it is going to combine with the lake now only a few meters away. Lastly, folks, eyes on the China-Vietnam border. Best friends over there canceling outdoor picnics as a typhoon spins offshore. You have about 12 hours as of this morning. Folks, at the end of the day today, we'll be drawing two pre-registration attendees to get room upgrades and extra door gifts. Let's call it 5 p.m. in the eastern U.S. that will do the cutoff and pick the winners. Can't wait to see you in February. Folks, it's podcast day as well, so the Fly on the Wall episode will appear under your premium section in a few hours at suspiciousobservers.org going to throw a haymaker in that one. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the rest of the world's wind maps, null school run up through the stratosphere, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.